Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmad and in this particular video tutorial, I will talk about store procedures in MySQL. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, Anchal Srivastava and she asked to make some videos on the MySQL and she asked to make a video on the store procedures in MySQL. So what is a store procedure and what are the benefits of creating store procedures? So the store procedure is a set of MySQL statements those can be saved as a single unit at the database side. You can do a lot of stuff inside the store procedure. For example, you can create a new table or you can insert, delete or update data to the MySQL tables as well. And of course, you can select the data as well from the one or more MySQL tables. You can also call another store procedure or function from a store procedure. So the benefits of using the store procedures are below less network traffic. So if you are using MySQL queries to pull the data from MySQL tables or doing some insert, delete or update thing as well, then you would need to send all the queries over the network from client app to the database. So this takes more traffic and also there are chances of SQL injection or your queries can also be read by the hackers. Thus if you can create the store procedure on the database side and you can write all your code inside the store procedure then your client app only need to send the store procedure name and optionally the parameters if there are any parameters to the store procedure. The second benefit is code reusability. So if you can write a store procedure then there are chances the same type of requirement you might have in another project as well. Thus you can copy the code from the existing store procedure and create a new store procedure from it. The third benefit is security. So the store procedures are secure as your database administrator can give permissions only to the required people and only those people will be able to access or execute the store procedures. The fourth point is easy to maintain. So store procedures are easy to maintain. Suppose you need to do some changes in the logic or you need to add some additional code into the store procedures. Then you can just change the code in the store procedure and you don't need to rebuild the application. But if you do not have a store procedure and all your MySQL code is written in the client app, then you would need to change the code in the app, rebuild the whole process and then deploy it again. So this takes a lot of time. So let's see how we can create the store procedures in MySQL. This is MySQL workbench and let me try to connect to the one of the database. On the left side, if you see, we have few databases like test database, work database and world database. So let me just expand the world database. In the world database, I have few tables like city table, country and country language. So let me try to find the data from the country table. Let me see what kind of data we have in the country table. If you execute the query, so you can see that we have different countries information here. Like this is the country name and this is the country code. And then we have some other information as well about the whole country like their population and surface area etc. Now we got another table as well city table and the city table contains data for all the cities for a particular country. So this is the city table it contains city name, country code and then city district and the population of a particular city. Now for example if I need to select all data from this country table and then corresponding city name and their district from the city table then I can write a query something like this select a dot star from country a inner join city table b on a dot i think we have a code in the country table and in the city table we have the country code b dot country code okay so if I try to execute this particular query, so this will select the data for all countries and all cities. But if I am interested only in the India country, then what I can do, I can just pass the country code to this particular query where a dot code equal to ind. Ind is the code for the India. So this will return you the data for the India country. So I think there are around 341 cities. Okay, so if you scroll to the right so as of now it is selecting all the data from the country table but let me select few uh, columns from the city table as well for example from the city table i can got the city name 
and then the city district as well district okay and uh, yeah i think that should be fine so let me just try to find the data again so now on the right side these are the cities for the india and these are the district for those particular city so now i want to create a store procedure for this particular query that i can just execute the store procedure instead of writing this whole query in the client app then how i can write the store procedure so the first thing that you need to take care while writing the code for the store procedure is that you need to define the delimiters define a delimiter for this particular store procedure for example the default delimiter that is used inside the mysql queries is the semicolon but because semicolon can be present inside the store procedure so we need to just define a store procedure which will tell us that this is the last line of the code okay in the beginning we will write that this will be the delimiter and then we can write the store procedure code now the syntax to write the store procedure is that we can write create procedure and then we need to give the procedure name so i can write like sp underscore get country data and if you don't want to pass any parameters then you can write something like this and then begin and then you can write your sql query here so this is my sql query so i can copy the sql query from here and i can paste it here and then i can end the sql query with a semicolon now i can write end and after the end i need to pass this particular delimiter so that my sql know that this is the end of the procedure and then i can just end the delimiter again and i can set the default delimiter to semicolon so this is the code for writing the store procedure so now you can select all this particular code to create the store procedure and you can click on execute so you can see that the store procedure has been created and if you refresh the store procedures on the left side then you should see this particular store procedure sp underscore get country data so this is the store procedure and now if you want to call this particular store procedure then how you can call it you can write call and then you need to just pass the name of the store procedure so i can just pass the name of the store procedure sp underscore get country data so you can select this one and you can click on execute so this will return you the data from the store procedure so this is the data so all the columns are from the country table except the last two columns which are from the city table suppose you want to drop the store procedure then you can just write drop procedure and then the name of the store procedure so you can just execute this one so the store procedure has been dropped and now you won't find any stored procedures under the stored procedures option and i will share this code with you you can just check the description of the video and you can download all the code from there so if you want to modify any stored procedure then you can just drop the stored procedure and just recreate it with the new code i will create another video with the input and output parameters for the stored procedures so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much